Hello, my friends. Now, let's just take a deep breath. <laughs> I think we can all use ah, a nice deep breath right now. We are in the unknown. Exciting and scary all at the same time. Uh, we're being called right now to, to be. To, to be in our own mind, to explore our own emotions, to awaken to our spirituality. Uh, this is the time of the great awakening. And I know many of you have, you know, you've read the books over the years on spirituality and personal development, you've gone to the workshops, the meditation, the yoga, and yeah, it's all great to read about all that stuff, <laughs> okay? Now we're being called to put it all into practice, right here, right now. In the time of the Great Awakening is we're being called to our heads out of the sand and see, right? 2020 vision is about seeing the truth. Whether we like that truth or not, it's really important to become aware of the true reality and the earth plane that you live on. Now, I'm going to use the the whole analogy in regards to the matrix, right? We're being called now to either take one path over here, which we can call the blue pill path, <laughs> or we can take the path of the red pill. The path of the blue pill is staying in the matrix and staying asleep, right? Keeping the head in the sand. And this is where staying in that, on that path is going to bring up a lot of fear. And that fear begins to be projected outwards. And that path of the matrix begins to show up as negative emotions. It can show up in the family unit as anger and resentment. And then we take that expression of fear and we pull it out into the collective and it can be very destructive, right? Leading to war and leading to death, etc. And the other path, <laughs> the red pill, you choose to swallow the red pill. <laughs> is where you discover who you truly are. And as Wayne Dyer and many of the spiritual leaders of our time have said that you are a spiritual being having a human experience. Again, this is just a matrix, an experience. It is a, a small part of you. And when you take the red pill, just like Neo did in Matrix, it was very uncomfortable for him at first. And, you know, he kind of questioned himself a couple times. <laughs> However, if you've ever watched the Matrix series, it, it can, it is very violent in, in, you know, definitely parts of it. However, it's all about him discovering who he truly is and his power, the light inside of him. And I believe that we are now being called to take our own red pill and to discover who we really are on the other side of all of this. If you know what a Vesica Pisces is, do I have, let me see. So right now we're going from one reality into another. Yes, life will never be the same. It's 
all good on the other side, okay? Just breathe in, trust. Okay, this is just <laughs> a drawing. <laughs> so this is two circles, two circles, right? And then in the center of the circle is what's known as the vesica Pisces. So it's that piece that's in between the circles. So in my coaching over the years, I share that transformation is about you going to that next level of who you are. And in this sphere right here, this is your reality that you were in prior to all this happening to us, for us, uh, is the reality that you knew. You knew everything in this reality here to what your conscious level of consciousness would allow. And to move into the next level of reality, we go through what is called the Vesica Pisces. It's also called the rebirthing zone. And this zone here, even though it's tiny, <laughs> is where all of your beliefs are shattered. <laughs> and you step into new empowered beliefs about who you are. You can just look at those you know, people in the world that are uh, when they move from one city to another, from one job to another. You can look at any time we're in a relationship uh, and you move into being divorced. You're moving from one reality to another. And it also requires a lot of change. Life is about change. And whereas one reality was very different than the new reality, it doesn't make either one wrong, right, good or bad. It's just a new life, a new expression of life. And then we adjust to that new reality and we begin to discover even more of who we were and who we are. And this is what we're being called to do right now is we're in a rebirthing zone Yes, and rebirthing, going through the birth canal and popping out into a new reality. <laughs> it can be a little challenging, right? As moms know. Mm -hmm. So as you're being birthed into a new reality, remember you are the creator of your reality. You are the creator of your, your reality on what you choose to believe and it's all up to us right now to choose a preferred reality. Where do we see humanity going? So those people who are stuck in the fear-based reality, they are not choosing to step into their divine force. That's where that realm, that level of consciousness moves into fear and begins to, right, blame their neighbors, blame everyone for whatever's happening. When we're over here, we're in trust. We're in trust that something underneath is happening. There's always something underneath that is occurring in life. It's just like when we are watching a flower grow we can't see the roots that are moving and <laughs> growing underneath the ground. This is happening with all life right now. We are stepping into a whole new way of being. Remember FEAR, the acronym of FEAR, future events appearing real. I want you to repeat that in your mind, future events appearing real. When fear consumes you, what I refer to as living below the line, and I get it, we're moving through and, and experiencing a lot of fear right now, and this is why I wanted to share this video with you today, is we're being called right now to get real with our fear and not project it out onto our loved ones. Do not project it out into the world because then we're gonna create more fear. <laughs> and we don't want that. Because deep down inside, we are love. We have to remember what we've been training for, what we've been, why, why we've been 
reading the books, why we've been meditating, why we have been doing the inner work in our life. This is why. Mm -hmm. And so right now, for those who are still asleep, they're not aware of their own power source inside of them. That light inside that keeps you calm. That knows that you are divinely taken care of. That you are not alone. The invisible forces of light. Light being awareness. Light being love. And I know it can be challenging when you're, you know, you're listening to everything that's going on and reading it on your phone. <laughs> I get it. There's a lot more going on than just the virus, okay? There's a lot more happening in this world than just the virus. So I want you to give yourself a schedule every day to keep yourself on a schedule. So it allows you to, to move out of the mind, the fearful mind. And there is a lot of fear. It allows you to move out of the fearful mind throughout the day when you have a schedule, when you are, you know, working out at home, you know, watching YouTube, yoga, or, you know, whatever it is, whatever you need to do, moving your body in some way at home. Uh, you know, eating healthy, so important. Be smart, be responsible. And this is not about you ignoring your fears. It's so important to get real with your fear. And this is what you can do, okay? If you are in a, at home, uh, in, in a home that where you have more than two people, say you have, there's two of you or three or four or five, whatever it is, I would recommend as many times as you need to, you can just create this to be an exercise and activity um, for you and your family. And you can choose if you want to have this every three nights or whatever it is is you, you move into a circle, you have your chairs and you all sit in a circle or you sit on the floor and every one of you, you share and you say and you give each other an opportunity to share how you're feeling. And you can begin by stating, I am one who feels the fear of. So I do not want you to say I am fearful of because remember the words I am are the two most powerful words out there. And so when you're saying I am, you always want to put a highly vibrational word behind it, right? So when you're feeling any negative emotions, you want to always say I'm feeling. So I am one who's feeling the fear of. And many of my clients are feeling the fear of loneliness, fear of death, fear of being, being uh, violated. You know, the mind can create a bleak future. So that we are being called now to watch our imagination, to observe the imagination. To know that you have control over your imagination and what images you are projecting out. Is it a dark, bleak future for you and your family? Or is it a beautiful future? So getting back to the activity, I have a lot to share. So first step is you are sitting in a circle. Circles are really powerful. And then you take a deep breath, maybe a few, so you're all grounded. And then you take turns and you say, I am one who feels the fear of. And you allow that child, that teenager, the mom, the dad, 
uh, whoever is with you to express how they feel, to express their fears. And the amazing thing happens is that emotion will come through and this is key. This is key. We need to start feeling the emotion underneath the fear. So allowing and holding space for those who are in fear and allowing them to cry, allowing for tears. So definitely you're gonna to wanna to have a Kleenex box, <laughs> absolutely. And you all hold space for the one who is sad and give them as much time as they need whether it's two minutes five minutes half an hour and you go around the circle and you all share what fears are coming up for you right now this is a great powerful empowering moment for every family because if you are experiencing any anger in the family right now arguments it means underneath that anger is sadness underneath the sadness is the fear so we need to begin expressing the fear so that we can express the sadness and dissolve all anger We need to dissolve the anger right now. It's so important. And this is your responsibility right now. You are responsible for your own beliefs about what's going on in the world and to shift those beliefs into loving yourself, to loving your family. Remember, fear, future events appearing real. <clears throat> So I love the acronym, there's another one, of facing everything and rising. We are being called right now to face everything and rise right now. We're being called to take that red pill, even though it's scary. You are here to discover the true power because underneath your fear is your divinity, is the divine nature of your soul. Your soul is eternal and you're here to live a long life. Yes, you are, absolutely. We're here now to create a new earth of love, prosperity. So if you are living alone, I want you to do this exercise and state out loud, I am one who feels the fear of. Allow yourself to sob, allow yourself to cry. That's where the healing is right now. We need to feel what's alive inside of ourselves. And the final step in this exercise is hugging your family, right? And, and just reminding them that they're loved. And this is where you then go into a meditation, each family member to go into a meditation, even if it's just two minutes and you sit in silence and now you're saying to yourself, I am love, I am safe. I am love. The true core essence of who I am is love. I am safe. I am safe. And if you need to repeat, I am safe a hundred times, you go ahead and you do that. I am safe. I love you and I will be sharing videos uh, every day in regards to a meditation video. So you're welcome to join me live. 
I'll be posting on my Facebook wall. I'm not too sure what time it's going to be yet, but I will uh, make sure that you know. And uh, when I post this video, I will most likely share the time with you. But join me and we'll get through this. Absolutely. Please do not be afraid of your neighbors. Let's just send love. Let's send love to everyone. Trust that you are healthy. Mm -hmm. Repeat every day, a thousand times a day, I am healthy. I have a meditation, a guided meditation on my post on my wall on Facebook. And it's on YouTube as well. I'll post the link here and it's a two hour guided meditation on giving you relief from those negative emotions, negative thoughts, because we right now cannot afford to have a negative thought. So it's really important to just process those negative thoughts and then go about your day. <laughs> okay. Don't carry these negative thoughts and emotions with you throughout the day. Lots of love.